Ok, time to create our own get routes. We will create a users route, so the URI is users. And inside the closer, we will return users. So, return users. Save and let's try this. So if we go to slash users, we see users. Of course, returning just users, it doesn't make any sense. This URI could respond to an admin page where the admin can manage users. So what if we instead create an array of users? Let's try this. Users. So users can have some attributes like first name, last name and location. The first user will be me and the second user will be Jessica Alba. Why not? I love her. So zero. And here we can have first name Renato, last name Husa, and location. Albania. Now I will just copy this and paste it for Jessica Alba. So this will be one name Jessica and last name Alba. Location USA. All right, once we have the users array ready, we can return it. So return users. So we have two objects there, me and Jessica. Perfect. Let's go back to the web.php file and let's take a look at it. With just two routes, the file already became very big. Imagine that a medium-sized application might require around 100 to 200 routes, even more. So this file will be huge. Those one thing is for sure, we should not add the business logic in the web file. I will show the right way of declaring a route and where to add the business logic. Let's create a controller that will be called users controller. The easier way to do this is within a terminal. I will open a new tab, so shell, new tab, and say php artisan. This command will show us all the available artisan commands. In our case, we care about the make controller. This will create a new controller class. So. We can go down here and say php artisan make controller users controller. This command will create a controller inside the app http controllers. So let's try this app http controllers. So you can notice that we already have some code. This will help us to quickly start with our controller. So I want to copy all the code that we have in the route for users and paste it inside a function that will be called index and I will create inside the users controller. So public function index and we paste the code. So almost everything is the same, but we need to make one last change in the web file. Instead of passing a closer like we do here, we have to declare the controller and the function that this URI will respond to. I want you to have available both of the ways that you could do this, so I will not delete this route and I will just comment it. Now we can create the same route, so route get, again it will respond to users and we delete the closer. I will open brackets and say uses. So here we specify the controller and the function that this URI will respond to. The controller is called users controller and the function is called index. So at index. Let's save and see the result. So we got the same result, but now our web file, as you can see here, is just extremely small. The logic is inside the users controller and not the web.php file. So this is very good actually. Okay, so at this moment I feel like I wanna cheat. Of course not Jessica Alba, even if this is, you know, imaginary, but I want to use Blade in this video. I know that this video is not regarding Blade, it is about the gut route, and I promise that we will discuss Blade in future videos. But I just feel like I have to show you just a bit of what Blade can do. 
So inside the resources and views folder, I will create a new folder called admin. So new folder, admin, and another folder called users. So inside the users folder, I will create a blade file called index. So new file, index.blade.php. What I want to do now is to pass the users array in the index view that we just created. And I want to display all the users in the array, which in my case is me and Jessica Alba, like me. So let's try this. I will say here, return view. And here we specify the path to the view. Of course, we do not start from resources and views. We just have to say admin dot users dot index without blade.php. And then we say compact and we add the variable name, which is users. This, of course, will display nothing in the browser. So let's add some blade code to the index file. So we want to loop through each user in the array users and we have access to the users array because we just passed it from the controller to the view using compact. So let's loop. I will say here for each users as user. And of course we have to close this. So and for each. And here I will open an li and say user first name. Save and let's run this. So we get the two names, Renato and Jessica. Let's also add the last name. We can go right here, space there. And again, user last name. Save again, reload, perfect. What about adding the last attribute, which is a location? So from user location. Save one last time, reload, and we got everything. 